first thing that you want to do before you even get underneath the bar is create a shelf because we don't want the bar a lot of times you'll see people coming in and squatting just like this just very like nonchalant and, and then ready to squat but if we don't create a shelf on our back on our back to carry the bar then over time it's going to start slipping or you're going to feel very unstable so what you want to think of is squeezing the bar together okay and that's going to create whoa that's going to create a shelf for you we can go here squeeze the bar and then get underneath all right so see that shelf now from here i'm going to just pick the bar straight up I'm not i don't have one foot back and ready to go from here straight up and i'm going to take three steps back one two and then my third step is going to be me just adjusting all right from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to lead with my hips, okay, I'm not arching my back, I'm not overextending, I'm just going to lead with my hips, sit back, spread my knees out, and come back up. So come on, come a little closer. So I'm going to lead with my hips and drive my knees out. You want your knees when we're squatting. You want your knees in line with like outside toes, all right? Don't worry about like if it's going in front of your foot or too far above your toes, too far in front of your toes. The one thing that I want you to focus on is as you squat, knees are in line with toes, okay? Hips, over time, you gotta build your hips to get below your knees. If you can't get there yet, start doing some stretches and getting your mobility so you can open up those hips.